It was a video game move off into turn three. He put the car against the wall wide open all the, way, all the way around turn three. I'm sure you've seen this crazy spectacular final lap full send move at the NASCAR race this past weekend, which earned the driver a spot in the title race. So how does this video game move, as the commentator put it, work in real life? By the way, the driver Ross Chastain literally learned the move from playing video games with his brother when they were young. But back to the science, how was he able to go so much faster and gain five positions by doing this? The physics behind it is simple. When you corner, your tires provide you with a certain amount of lateral force, which is essentially centripetal force, so you can turn at a certain speed. When you exceed this speed, the tires won't have enough grip and you'll require a larger turn radius or the car will slide. You can watch this video for a detailed explanation. However, Ross Chastain used the wall in addition to the tires to provide this lateral force. Since the wall is relatively immutable and unmovable, it can provide the car with as much lateral force as it needs to make the turn at pretty much any speed. As long as you approach the wall in a small enough angle so the car doesn't bounce off of it, the only limitations are the friction created between the car and the wall, and well, as you can see, the resulting damage. And because the wall can facilitate you to turn at any speed, the logical thing to do is to keep your throttle planted to counteract the friction from the wall and to accelerate as much as possible. If you can't picture how this works, here's a simple analogy. Instead of a car, imagine it was a giant marble. The marble is smooth, it rolls, and it has no tires, so it doesn't have any grip. It doesn't have any ability to hold a turn on its own whatsoever. But no matter how hard you hurl the marble along the wall, no matter how fast it's going, within reason, it will follow the wall around the corner. Another way to think of it is the wall is really just a 90 degree banking, but instead of using your tires, you're using your door. And there you have it. That's how the wall ride hack works in real life. I don't recommend trying it outside of a sim unless there's a huge prize at stake, but what do you think about this move? Do you think this is or should be a legal move? Share your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you next time.